I love drawing pictures for children because, especially children who have not yet learned how to read either at all or very well because they are so amazing at reading pictures and they can see all kinds of details. They can they follow any kind of storyline, secondary, counterpoint storyline, anything that I put in the pictures they're going to at some point um, see. And so I feel like this is one of the skills that we lose as we age. You know, grown-ups just don't have that kind of um, level of discernment when they're looking at pictures. And so I, as an illustrator of children's picture books, that is, it's like illustrating for um, picture reading virtuosos. I love illustrating other people's manuscripts because I'm looking to um, respond to that piece of writing in a way that I'm completely puzzled by it. If I read it and I'm, I'm just intrigued and it's a mystery to me, that is what draws me into that kind of a manuscript. When I first read All the World, I was, first of all, um, just so blown away by the rhythm and the pattern of that particular manuscript. But I was also looking for something that was, um, you know, so all-encompassing and something that, that I felt like celebrated the connections between both grown-ups and children and all the things in, in the world that are meaningful. I think at their best what picture books offer children is an access to story delivered in both words and pictures that resonate on an emotional level. I kind of have been thinking about them in the same way that I think about wooden blocks in kindergarten classrooms. I mean there have been many many um, other ways of building that kids have been exposed to. But those wooden blocks are still there in almost you know, every kindergarten classroom worth its salt and kids still gravitate toward them. And, and I think um, picture books are very similar in that um, children need them in order to start to learn about how stories work and um, how stories can mean something to them on a really deep level.